Well, Edson, hello again. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit closer to fight night now. Uh, how's the weight cut going? It cut doing well, like always, you know. Thank God I don't have a big problem with uh, cutting weight. Uh, almost there. I think the, the some I, I run right now, just sweaty. Do hard training tonight. Uh, big chance to make weight tonight. It's not an easy part of my job, but I know I have to do. And thank God I never miss weight, and I'm almost there. Has it gotten easier or harder for you over the years? Uh, I don't know. The people say when I start get older, I start get harder. But for me, it's opposite because I think I learn. I know my body right now. You know, I know what I have to eat. I, I can't eat. You know, I start learning with my body. And I think. It's not, not too hard, you know? In a weird way, does it kind of help you? Because you have to get a certain mindset to start mm -hmm. cutting weight, and therefore you must know, like, well, a fight's mm -hmm, coming. So mm -hmm. does it sort of help you in that way? Yeah, of course, it helped me 100%. I've seen many, many guys, a friend of mine, he's, uh, he's focused on cutting weight. He's big pro or he's thinking about, oh, oh, I have to make weight, I have to make weight. He don't think about the fight. And I really don't think about, of course, my focus 100% on the fight. I really don't think about my cutting weight because I know I want to make weight. Well, let's talk about the fight. Everyone's always, you know, everyone's just focused on the violence mm -hmm. and this craziness. But when you look at Justin, technically, what do you see in him? You know, he's got the leg kicks, he's forward motion, but where mm -hmm. do you find your strength against that? No, he's a great fighter. He, he's, like I said, he's one of the best. He have his style, and I really don't believe, like, uh, sometimes I say, oh, this guy, he have a good style, bad style. He have his style, and he's doing very well. He play very well. He win most of his fight, you know? Uh, like I said, he's coming walking forward. He throw everything that's making me very excited for this fight, you know? Coming because I know he's coming for, for a fight. Coming off a tough uh, fight with Dan Hooker, who's also a gritty, tough guy who's gonna come mm -hmm. forward. Is that good preparation for this? It's the kind of fight you like? Of course. Uh, I think every fight, you get better for the next one, you know, and fight against who can make me better for sure, not only physical, but mentally especially, and oh yeah, definitely, that fight makes me much better for the next one. This feels like it could be a fight of the night, a lot of people are talking about it, they're excited. Mm -hmm. Are we reading too much into it, or is it too much pressure, or do you feel the same way? No, I don't feel the pressure at all, I really don't. Don't worry about this, you know. Like I said, I always stay in focus, go there, give my best, and have a fun. I, that's the most important, have a fun. You and Melvin Gillard are tied for the most knockouts in lightweight history. Do you have a favorite knockout that you've done in the UFC? One that's like when ask people when I ask you that question, is there one that comes to mind? More than my most? favorite? Yeah. Of course, my spinning heel kick. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the best knockout UFC ever. Did you get a bonus for that one? You must have done, right? Yeah, yeah, I got a bonus for sure. Oh. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what, what would it mean for you to, you know, pass Melvin and have that record all to yourself? That's good, especially in the lightweight division. That's, for me, it's the harder division in the UFC. Have the best guys in the world in this division. That's good, you know. Like I said, he, uh, I'm one of the best, definitely one of the best in the UFC. I'm one of the best in the lightweight division. I think my name is stay in UFC forever. You, you bring up the lightweight division. It's easily one of the most stacked in the company, but it's also kind of a little bit messed up, right? You've got Khabib mm -hmm. on the side, Tony's on the side, mm -hmm. Connor's apparently retired. Mm -hmm. There's an instrument belt. Does that frustrate you as a fighter? Do you sometimes wish, like, I wish I knew I beat this guy, I beat this guy, title? Or do you just sort of take it as it is? Mm, not at all, you know. It's my job. I have to fight. I don't. You know, I mean, when I was younger, I just think about like uh, so much about oh, okay, I have to, uh, I have that's my dream. I have to to make my chance for the title shot. But today it's a little bit different. You know, I was I love my job. You know, I give my best every single day in the gym to get better and better to get my chance for the title shot. And everybody knows the title shot. You have to be in the right time in the right spot. And if I in the future, if I stay in the high, uh, in the right, uh, the right time, in the right spot, I will have my chance for the title shot. Headline. Headline.
headlining a, a card on ESPN. Uh, did you ever imagine something like this earlier in your career, being on ESPN? It's awesome because everybody knows ESPN is the big channel in the world and sport channel in the world. It's awesome for us. It's awesome for the sport. And, wow, I'm very happy, very happy to be a part of this. When you think of, you say you really enjoy your job, do you ever think about the end though? I mean, you being in the sport for so long, it's kind of a weird thing to ask because you're still in your prime, obviously, mm -hmm. but do you think about how long you want to fight for and when you maybe do want to walk away? Mm, it's funny because I talk to my coach right now about this. Mm -hmm. Like I said, man, I have a picture with my first fight, I was eight years old and I was 33. And it's still the same love for the sport, for fight sport. I don't know, I take my mind when I do this forever, you know, but as I get older, I know I have to hear my body and very competitive guy. You know, I hate lose, I don't like lose. I do, you know, and some point of the career, I start, okay, I start lose too much, I think that's the time to, to stop, but hey man, I, I, I really believe I feel better than ever, strong and faster, my cardio. Oh, and I, th I think you guys are gonna hear my name for a long, long time, because I feel great. Yeah, and a fighter like yourself, um, you know, you obviously rely a lot on your speed and mm -hmm. your quick twitch muscles and everything, and we kind of saw Stephen Thompson mm -hmm. last weekend get knocked out, mm -hmm. and people were starting to ask, you know, he's 36, and he's really relying on fighting with mm -hmm. his hand flow and counter striking and everything, and once that goes away, it's a steep decline, right? So is that something you ever kind of worry about? Like, or you'll maybe no. notice maybe that's when it's also towards the end too, when those things start to slow down? I think when Anderson Silva signed UFC, he's 33, 32, something sure. like that. He's coming to be the GOAT, in my opinion. He's the best ever. And no, man, like I said, uh, I'm 33, I feel better than ever. That's crazy. Everybody say, when you start get older, when I young, you don't think about that. When I turn 30, say, to start thinking about that because I'm starting to get older. But I really don't feel, really don't feel I'm in best shape of my life. And I feel better and better every single day. And last thing, uh, everyone's expecting this to be, you know, fight of the night, fight of the year and everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you want to deliver on that, but you also want to win mm -hmm. as well and fight smart mm -hmm. and technical mm -hmm. like you always do. Mm -hmm. How important is it to, you know, listen to your corner in this fight, stick to the game plan, whatever that may be, and not get sucked into what Justin always does and what he wants to get out of you. You know, and it's funny because that's one, the most important part of my game plan, I think. You know, keeping here in my corner. My corner talked to me about this for a whole camp. And hey, but I'm a fighter, bro. <laughs> I'm a fighter. I always talk my car, okay, I understand, but I'm a fighter, yeah. you know, I know. I don't know what happened, what gonna happen in the octagon, you know? If it's coming hard up, maybe I go cr like a crazy dog, you never know. I'm a fighter, bro. Uh, the people ask him about the game plan for this fight, say, man, the game plan is no game plan. Let's <laughs> go there, have a fun. And uh, last one for me, we're in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. It'd be wrong not to ask you, what is your favorite Rocky movie and why? Wow, my favorite one. Um, five, the, mm, I think he when he's beat the the Russian guy. Uh, Rocky Four. Yeah, uh, that's definitely my favorite one, for sure. <laughs> that's a deep question. You took a lot of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it's a lot of movie, you know. Yeah, I just start thinking about it. Before. I think when he beat the the, the tall guy, this one. but I don't remember how's the number, but I, I remember. Cool man. Perfect. Thanks, Thanks very much. Oh, Thank you. Appreciate it.